Howdy folks and welcome to week five of Educational Psychology Online. I went on to the discussion board yesterday and was blown away once again. You guys are doing an amazing job discussing these concepts, understanding these concepts, and some of these are pretty tough. So I'm really very impressed once again at how well you all are doing and especially at how much you're supporting each other within those discussion boards, answering each other's questions, elaborating on each other's comments. I really think it's spectacular. So really good job there. All right, so we're looking ahead, what's going on in week five. Um, we extended some of the deadlines on stuff for week three, or for lesson three. So you're welcome to take a little time this week to finish up the intelligence and the motivation uh, study guides and information. So we need to get those done. I did leave the deadline for exam one as September 30th, which is this coming Monday, so you've got a week. Uh, so take that as soon as you can, as soon as you finish up your uh, motivation study guide. So get all of that stuff done. We're also reaching the end of a unit. And if you've read the course orientation, you know that as long as everything gets turned in within a unit, then I don't uh, dock any late points or anything like that. So um, by September 30th, we really need to have everything from lessons one, two, and three submitted so that we can move ahead and not have to worry about old study guides and things like that. So uh, I encourage you to really try to get everything from lessons one, two, and three, as well as exam one, submitted by Monday. Exam one will be taken online. It's really just meant for you to have an opportunity to see what my tests are like. And my tests are based on that Praxis PLT that you'll all have to take eventually after graduation. So it's a really good practice for you. You'll take it once using no notes or anything, just see how well you do. And then it'll tell you which ones you got wrong. Then you can go back in, take the exam a second time using any resources you'd like. I'm doing this, again, first to show you what my tests are like, but also second to let you engage in a little metacognition and self-regulation. So evaluate how well your study strategies are working for you. Did they prepare you adequately for the test? Did you do pretty well on that first time around? Or was it kind of abysmal and you might have to change the way you're studying? So that's kind of the second level of uh, purpose for exam one. All right, so that's kind of what we're looking at as far as, you know, kind of getting caught up, finishing unit one, etc. You could also be starting uh, lesson four this week, focusing on the first few pages, which are on Piaget. So we've got a study guide to go along with Piaget's work, as well as a discussion board about the implementation of Piaget's theory in the various content areas. So those two things we should get started on this week as well. Um, I also have a couple of extra credit opportunities for you coming up. So this Friday, I just barely posted an announcement, this Friday is the UVU ADHD conference fantastic opportunity for you to learn a little bit more about this uh, issue that you'll very likely have to deal with frequently in your classrooms. So if you go to one session of that conference and then post your comments, I'll put up a discussion board for us, um, kind of summarizing the session that you went to and your thoughts about it, then I'll give you five extra credit points. I'd really like to see you going to that and uh, kind of developing yourselves as professionals. The other extra credit opportunity you may have seen in the announcements is for the Arts and Education Conference. You do need to register for that one as well, so ADHD Conference you need to register today if you want to go. Um, the Arts and Education Conference you need to register sometime in the next week. Both of them are free for students. The Arts and Education Conference, I've posted some articles and I want you to just choose one of those articles to read. It's in the modules area. And then I'd like you to also um, attend at least one session of that conference. Um, and generally, uh, the keynotes are awesome. Uh, the morning sessions are typically for people who are going to be teaching the arts. So if you're a dance teacher, a drama teacher, a music teacher, and a visual arts teacher, then those morning sessions are typically for you. But look on the day, October 8th. So those two things are coming up and, and we'll have a discussion board where you can post your thoughts on the session you went to and the article you read. And that one's a whopping 10 points extra credit. I feel strongly about supporting both of these opportunities. So these are kind of big deals. 
All right. Um, I will also be posting a sign up for individual conferences coming up here. It, they will be the few days there right before fall break. Um, going along with the arts conference so everything's kind of happening in that week so you can come in sit down and talk with me about any issues that you have if you would like to um, yeah so that'll be coming up in the announcements pretty soon I think that's all I've got for you this week so again as always ask any questions that you have come and see me and uh, you're doing great talk to you later